is alone. So prayerfully, uh, let us all uh, sit in the presence of God. And uh, as we have the Youth Sunday today and also the uh, new members welcoming program, um, I would like to uh, speak from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 and 7. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, sorry, 12, verses uh, 4 and 7. So today's message is not going to be a revival message, but it's going to be a what is that? A Bible study message or <laughs> instruction or uh, something like uh, the informative. Okay. So now the, the things that we are supposed to do practically. So the things that we are supposed to do as a as a as a whole church, we are supposed to do many things. Uh, practically so we'll be looking into that portion and uh, as we are going through that portion uh, help me to man, deliver that message in a wonderful manner that uh, I mean the people will be increased uh, with that word I mean so uh, the text two verses are first Corinthians chapter 12 uh, verses 4 and 7 in first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 it says that now there are varieties of gifts but the same spirit and verse 7 says, But to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. I mean, so the title is Spiritual Gifts with the Purpose of Common Good. The spiritual gifts that God has given for the people, for, for a believer, that which is supposed to be useful and which is supposed to be profitable and beneficial for all the people. Okay, so that is what we understand from that verses. Two verses are there, it is written there. When you maybe we will be going through uh, not only from First Corinthians chapter 12. Um, and also we'll be going through maybe Romans chapter 12. Okay, so uh, when we study Bible, we understand that uh, uh, there are different kinds of uh, gifts are given for the people of God. Every believer, when a person is uh, getting born again and when he is getting salvation and uh, becoming a child of God, and God is filling that person with some kind of gift. And realizing that recognizing what are the gifts that which is given for you and uh, using that gift is a is a great privilege that uh, god has given for us amen so everyone has got uh, different uh, i mean kinds of i mean gifts from the lord so the reason that i was uh, thinking about this portion was you know as uh, we are going to uh, give uh, some of our brothers and sisters as the membership of our elc so we should know that uh, how we are doing this and how and what is our gift and what is our spiritual gift which is given by God and how can we practice it how can we exercise the gift of God how can we uh, function the spiritual gifts which is given uh, for uh, every believer I mean so in first Corinthians chapter 12 verses 1 to 11 you now the whole chapter the whole portion is talking about He's describing, Apostle Paul is describing about what spiritual gifts are and who can receive them and why they are given. What is the source of the spiritual gifts? All these things are written in that particular portion, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. But the thing is, you know, the verse says like this, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts. But the same spirit is the source of them all. So the source is same. It is from God or it is from the Holy Spirit it is given. At the same time, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts. Amen. And each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. Amen. So let us think about. What are the various spiritual gifts in the New Testament? Okay, in especially not only, uh, I'll be next one. In, in New Testament, when you are reading, we understand in different epistles and even book of Acts and uh, uh, book of Romans and uh, book of Ephesians and 1 Corinthians, 2 uh, Timothy, 1 Peter, in all these verses and epistles, we understand the apostles are encouraging the people and telling them that you have this gift. 
when so when you are receiving the spiritual gift and you are supposed to exercise that spiritual gift men so the people of god we are given lot of i mean spiritual gifts may maybe sometimes one person has given uh, only one i mean gift or the other people might have given i mean uh, more than one gifts are given okay but I mean, just i mean understanding that okay okay and this is my gift and this is my spiritual gift and when we are recognizing and uh, realizing that okay this is my gift then we will be able to exercise that we will be able to function that or we will be able to operate that gift for the for the common purpose for the common purpose of the people that is the whole church i mean so that's why it is there are I men uh, uh, totally there are 17 i mean uh, gifts that the spiritual gifts are uh, written in 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 that uh, screen you can see there okay not only 17 you know in bible uh, there are different kinds of gifts are given but i i have just taken only 17 from there from these portions book of acts and romans and first corinthian and ephesians and uh, uh, second timothy and first peter in all these epistle we can see that uh, i mean the apostles or apostle paul he is mentioning about the gift of the people that means god has filled the people of god with the spiritual gift atmeek varangale kondu devam nammal ellavarum നിറച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് നമുക്ക് ആർക്കും പറയാൻ സാധിക്കത്തില്ല എൻ്റെ ദൈവം ഒരിക്കൽ ഒരു വരവും തന്നിട്ടില്ലെന്ന് സോ എനി എനി വൺ ഓഫ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഇൽ ബി ബി ദർ ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് ഓൾസോ ഓക്കെ യു ഹാവ് യു യു ആർ ഗിവൺ വിത്ത് എ സ്പിരിച്വൽ ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ഗോഡ് ഐ മീൻ സോ ലിസൺ ടു ദോസ് പോർഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് വിച്ച് ആർ വിച്ച് ആർ ദ വിച്ച് ആർ ദ ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ദറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ഫോർ അസ് മീൻ സോ വെൻ വെൻ യു റീഡ് ദറ്റ് പോർഷൻ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഫസ്റ്റ് കുറിഞ്ഞ ചാപ്റ്റർ ട്വൽവ് uh, uh verses uh, maybe verses maybe seven uh, following you will understand that there are many gifts are given for the people of god okay and the first one is the word of wisdom okay so the we are some, some of us are given the word of wisdom eh? the word of wisdom is not the ordinary wisdom it is not to i mean all who i mean ask in uh, james chapter 1 verse 5 we are reading that i mean if somebody is lacking uh, a wisdom you can ask to god and he will give you wisdom i mean so this is this i mean the, the word of wisdom which is mentioned here is not that wisdom but it is entirely different it is to solve the problems of the other people you know there will be some people those who are able to solve the problem of other people you know when the people are going through the the, the conflict or when the people are going through the troublesome situation i mean there will be somebody to give the the wisdom to to share with those people and that those i mean the the, the problem and the, and the issues of those problem will be uh, the persons will be solved okay so that kind of wisdom that is known as the word of wisdom that god is giving for the people of god and again the word of knowledge okay the second thing the second spiritual gift which is mentioned there is you know i i have no time to explain all the gifts and uh, elaborately but i mean just i mean mentioning some of that and uh, we will be going into the next portion so when god is giving a person the word of knowledge you know that word of knowledge for example and that could be useful for the other people not only for that person but it should be useful for other people for example if somebody is uh, i mean in illness okay so you know all of a sudden uh, so, some of the people is okay that, that that person is in illness and that person is sick so i can i can sense it in my in my in my i mean spirit that that person is i mean sick and some people when uh, when uh, even after coming to the i mean uh, saving knowledge of jesus christ some people are still continuing in sin for example okay some people are still continuing in sin and some of the brothers some of the sisters they will get an idea they will get a knowledge about that person that that person is continuing in sin okay so this is you know this the word of knowledge is given for the people for the children of god for the goodness of other people that means when they are getting the word of knowledge in them when god is filling them with the word of knowledge those people will i mean go to the other people and say that okay this is the situation of that person I mean this is known as the word of knowledge hallelujah and again the faith I mean the faith which is mentioned there as a gift the spiritual gift this is not the salvation faith 
you know when we are accepting jesus as a personal savior we are saying oh lord i am accepting i am having faith in you and i am accepting you as my personal savior and my lord when so this faith is not the salvation faith rather the faith which through which we when we are pray for other people and pray for the other needy people and that faith comes into us and we are saying that okay god is going to do a miracle for you hallelujah praise the lord even though this is a bible study you can you can say praise the lord if you if you feel praise the lord thank you lord stotra okka parna korpo onnum illa kto okay so what is that you know when we have the faith and if you have the spirit of faith and if you have the the spiritual gift of faith you will know the need of other people and when you are pray for them when you are pray for them and you will say that okay i am i am confirmed in my heart in my spirit that god is going to do a miracle for you i have the spirit for the goodness of other people again the gift of healing you know the gift of healing always goes together that means the healing the faith and the healing goes together you know we cannot do anything uh, if, if, even though you have a, a gift of healing without faith you cannot do anything okay so somebody is i mean uh, saying that okay i have the gift of healing but without faith you cannot do then you mean so if you have a healing spirit or healing i mean the gift of the healing then it is true that you have the faith also so with that faith when you are praying for some for some other people okay not only for you but for other people when you are praying for them i mean the healing will happen for them i mean hallelujah and we have uh, many many i mean experiences in our personal life that again okay, I mean with faith when we are praying that means if you have the spirit of healing or the, the gift of healing you know when we are i mean putting your hands upon that person and praying for that person when I mean, you will see the work of god you will see the miracle of god because you have faith in god and you have uh, the the spirit and the gift of the healing and again the gift of miracles the gift of miracles Okay, so the gift, you know, there are there are some people in in my experience. I can I can sense that. Uh, I mean, even in the church also, the among the among the children of God, the, the the people of God, and also some other pastors. I mean, specifically, they have a gift of doing something, doing miracles. Okay, so everyone is not having that spirit. Everyone is not having that gift. okay but some people some pastors some leaders and some even believers also have got that uh, i mean gift of miracle that means when they are praying for a for a for a for a i mean prayer request with faith i mean that is going to happen okay the miracles are taking place hallelujah because that person is i mean gifted i mean with uh, the the miraculous i mean spiritual gift and another thing which is mentioned there is prophecy okay so prophecy sometimes that prophecy i mean is to predict the future at the same time sometimes the prophecy is given for a person to identify the situation okay and also to tell them that this is your situation and the lord is showing me you know sometimes we are i mean fearful to say that okay this is your situation to other person because we are fear that okay if i say that what that person will think okay so we are just I mean, ignoring those things because I mean we are fearful about that thing but we understand here that i mean when a person is filled with the spirit or the gift of the prophecy okay the, the reason that i'm sharing all these things is you know as we are becoming the members of this local church and the universal church we should understand what is our gift when we should understand what is my gift i mean what is my spiritual gift uh, which is given by god when when a person is gifted with a prophecy okay prophecy that person will be i mean sharing the word of god maybe sometimes you know don't say that okay the prophecy is always you know malayalathi parayana pravadigamar sadharana janam mone mola nakku parana thalai kevich prarthichu parayana karyangal mathram onnalla okay always we should understand that you know the prophecy is not only you know the the എന്തോ അതിന് പറയുന്നേ ഭയങ്കര ബഹളം ഉണ്ടാക്കി ഐ മീൻ അങ്ങനാണ് ഇങ്ങനാണ് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളെ ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകും അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകും അത് മാത്രമൊന്നുമല്ല പ്രൊഫസി യുനോ ഇൻ ഓൾട്ടസ്മെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂ ടെസ്മെന്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ദ പ്രൊഫസി ഓക്കെ സോ സംടൈംസ് ദ പ്രൊഫസി ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് വെൻ എ പേഴ്സൺ ഈസ് പ്രീച്ചിങ് ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ഈസ് എ പ്രൊഫസി
you know because the spirit of the lord is illuminating that person and that person is preaching the word of god and the spirit of the lord will tell him that this is the situation of the people those who are i mean sitting in front of you and you are speaking that word you are speaking that word and we understand i mean you are speaking to that person particularly and personally that that person is going to come closer unto the lord i mean so that is i mean sometimes the 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 the, the prophecy is supposed to i mean tell the other people about the the future things future things okay and again you know distinguishing the spirit distinguishing the spirit that means to detect the blo- uh, and also to block the hidden work of satan that means we, we understand that uh, there are different spirits are there today hmm? different uh, i mean activities are there in the in the name of the the, the spiritual gifts in the name of the i mean jesus and in the name of the G- i mean uh, uh, spirit of god and the holy spirit there are many things happening around uh, i mean in in the christendom but the problem is you know when we are having that gift the spiritual gift of discernment the spiritual gift of distinguishing what is right and what is wrong amen you will have that spirit and you will have that gift the spiritual gift to discern or to distinguish what is the evil spirit and what is the i mean work of satan and what is the false the doctrines and all and again in uh, uh, even in acts also in uh, first corinthians chapter 14 uh, verse 2 we are reading about the tongues okay the gift of tongues what is the gift of tongues there are two two forms of gift of tongues tongues are there in uh, in book of acts and first corinthians chapter 14 okay the first one is the ability to speak the other national languages you know there are people speaking more than more than two or three or five languages you know how many languages i can speak eh 10 <laughs> you know there are people having a, a spirit or having a gift of speaking some other languages and there are people those who are able to translate into different language i had a brother in uh, uh, bangalore in karnataka he was able to translate uh, the messages from malayalam to uh, three four four languages okay the same you no know, same way in the same way he can translate into four languages okay uh, what is that english hindi then uh, 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 kongni kongni is a is a is a language in uh, mangalapuram and goa and uh, also uh, kannada kannada and and sometimes tamil also okay you know there are people gifted with that you know they have the spirit and they have the gift of translation and they have the gift of i mean uh, uh, speaking in other national languages at the same time in the book of acts we are reading that that is the gift of god which is given for the people of god and we are saying for that the other tongue okay anya bhasha samsarikya ennu parnu anya bhashagalil samsarikkunu rendum rendana anya bhasha samsarikkunna endana speaking in tongues means it is given from god and they are speaking the heavenly language heavenly language at the same time in first corinthians chapter 14 we are reading that the the, the, the languages are their national languages are there i mean matte rajyakarude bhashagalil matte samsthanakarude bhashagalil samsarikkunnathu or anugrahikkappada gift aanu ketto i mean angane aarkelum gift undengil adu nashippichu kalayalle adu upayogichodam hallelujah praise the lord and i'm, I'm just moving forward I means next one the interpretation of the tongues the interpretation of the tongues both side the both form of that is there what is that you know if you are speaking in other language means you know uh, one one malayali is speaking in uh, uh, hindi that is a gift okay that is a gift and that is also a, as a talent at the same time when you are speaking in other tongue other tongue means the spiritual tongue the heavenly tongue that that also must be interpreted sometimes uh, it is not happening in our midst ഈ എന്താ പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ അന്യഭാഷകൾ ഭാഷാന്തരം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നില്ല പലപ്പോഴും അത് അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പണ്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇന്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ദ ഹെവൻലി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഹാപ്പനിങ് നൗ ആക്ച്വലി യുനോ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ ദ ഇൻ ദ എർലിയർ ടൈം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ദേർ യുനോ വെൻ സംബഡി ഈസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ 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 അതർ ടങ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഷുഡ് ബി സംബഡി ഓർ ദാറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ ഹിംസെൽഫ് വിൽ ബി 
interpreting uh, what is the meaning of that in their own language. Okay. Anyway, this is a gift that God is giving for the people of God. Amen. When you are praying in the presence of God, you can receive that. And again, and again, the serving gift of God. Serving. That means, you know, there are many people, they are always ready to serve other people, right? So they are gifted with the gift of service. Serving other people without expecting anything. You know, teaching. There are people having the gift of teaching. And also there are people having the gift of exhortation. There are people having the gift of giving. Giving. Okay, This is different, different, different gifts are there in Bible. You know, you might have at least one or two gifts in you which is given from the Almighty God. Giving. You know, the leadership. Hospitality. Hallelujah. Hospitality is one of the gifts. You know, I know there are many families here. There are many, I mean, individuals, brothers and sisters here in our church. I mean, as the, 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 these people, uh, uh, Uncle and also George was sharing that again. This is a family. You know, how many people are gifted with the hospitality? You know, how many people are gifted with the giving? How many people are gifted with the serving other people? Hallelujah. This is a great thing that we are having. And the 16th one is helping other people. Eh? Helping other people. You know, there are new, when the new families are coming, then there are some people, they are so enthusiastic and they are saying, okay, they are so, uh, what, what is the uh, zeal to I mean, do something for that family. Okay, okay, I, I'll go there and I'll help them. Eh? I can do something. I can, I mean, uh, uh, give them some food and I can, I can do something. There are people in our church also with the gift of giving and gift of serving, gift of helping other people. And some people are always ready for administration. You know, everybody can cannot do that administration, but there will be somebody, there will be to lead, and there will be somebody to, to, to administrate, and there will be somebody to do something in the church, and everybody cannot do all these things. Amen? If you have the gift of that, and you, got, you are going to do that, and when you are gifted with the, with, the, with the spiritual gift, and we are supposed to understand what is the purpose of that manifestation of the gift. Yeah. The purpose of the manifestation of the gift. Can you read that verse maybe? You have the mic? Okay, Elsa. You, you, Elsa is going to read that verse, a uh, particular verse, First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. Yeah. Twelve seven. yeah. Okay, why do you want to go to the mic? Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit Okay. What is the purpose of that uh, uh, I mean, manifestation of the gift? Hmm? The, the, the main purpose is written there that it is for the common good. That means the gifts are given for a believer not for, for only for himself but it is for the common good or it is to help each other. It is, to, it is for a common profit. It is for a beneficial of the other people and serving other people and for the benefit of whole church that means building up the church of god amen so you are gifted with something to build up the church to build up the church and we are supposed to exercise that and we are supposed to function that or operate the god given gifts uh, i mean for the common purpose for the common purpose not only for one person not only for one family and this is a common purpose and common good and for all the people those who are gathering in that congregation and again the next slide is why many people are hesitating to function the spiritual gifts there are seven reasons that i have made in that slide why many times the people of god many of the believers they are hesitating to function the spiritual gifts the first one is in first corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 okay in 12 verse 1 we are reading like this that now concerning spiritual gifts brethren i do not want you to be unaware hmm? what is the first thing that why we are hesitating to do that practicing 
the gift of god operating the gift of god exercising the gift of god when sometimes we are i mean going back and uh, we are saying no no i can't do that first thing is purposeful ignorance okay ningal ariyada thanne endu yenu eh chala samayathe arinjond endu yenu nammal bachu and ignore cheyan okay we know that okay i know that i have uh, the gift of something the spiritual gift and uh, i mean I, if i am not doing that i am purposefully avoiding that chance and avoiding that situation and saying that okay i can't do that secondly secondly some of the people are thinking it is unbiblical and indecent activity unbiblical and indecent activity what is that you know when we are practicing some kind of the the gift of the spirit you know the other people sometimes they are thinking hey, no no don't don't do that okay it is indecent it is not a decent thing that you are doing that uh, it is unbiblical and uh, there are some uh, church groups are there they are saying no no it is unbiblical it is not written in the bible uh, and some people are saying that uh, it's it's outdated it's outdated means you know only it was given for the early church people that means it was only for the apostolic period and they were exercising that they were when I mean, functioning uh, the 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 spiritual gifts in on those days nowadays we don't want to do that uh, it is it is updated sorry outdated and we should not do all those gift and we are not supposed to exercise or practice all those gifts now because it was only given for that day amen but i personally believe that and we believe that it is it should be updated it should be updated and let's say that oh lord i mean in our church also when i mean somebody is gifted with a with a spiritual gift hallelujah increase those people to to come forward and increase those people to 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 perform that or to do for the glory of god and for the goodness of uh, the people of god and some people are considering that these gifts are demonic demonic and that's the reason that they are not using that or doing that you know in in some places it is like that only you know endo ee pai or pishajinte paribadi aayittu chalappa namukku feel ee so sometimes you know when uh, some people are doing uh, some kind of exercise of the spiritual gifts and we feel that okay yeah, is it a demonic eh endo satana paribadi illo aano angane chindikkanalla avan nalla daanam tirichirinju kondu adine nammal endu cheyanam prosahipikkanam a gift if we understand that that gift is from god i mean it is not a demonic gift i mean it is it is the divine gift that gifts is given for the people of god but the problem is when we are exercising that sometimes we are exercising disorderly we are exercising we are functioning the spiritual gifts sometimes disorderly nornale oru endo parayunne ക്രമീകൃതം അല്ലാത്ത രീതിയിൽ ആ സമയത്ത് കയറി ഓരോ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എന്തോ അത് ഡിസോർഡർ ആയി പോവുക ഏനോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ റീസൺ ഇൻ 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 കൊറിന്ത്യൻ ചർച്ച് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ദർ ഓക്കെ ഈവൻ വെൻ ദ വെ ടോക്കിംഗ് ഓക്കെ വെൻ ദ വെ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ടങ്സ് ഓൾസോ ഐ മീൻ അപ്പോസർ പോൾ വാസ് വാണിങ് ദം ആൻഡ് അപ്പോസർ പോൾ വാസ് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ട് ഇൻ ദം ദം യു നോ യു ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് ഡൂ ദീസ് ഓക്കെ യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഓൾ തിങ്സ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഡിസോർഡർലി you know so there will be different opinions about many things but at the same time when we we are exercising our gift and when we are doing something as a gift of the spiritual gift hallelujah we are supposed to be very decently do that and in an order you are supposed to do that and that should bring the profit for the other people for the common good i mean and sometimes you know uh, we are i mean fearful to perform in public okay we know that we have uh, some kind of gifts are there but sometimes we are not able to perform it in public because we are fearful okay we are thinking okay what that person will think what this person will think okay if i'm doing that or if i'm 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 standing here and if i'm i'm talking to that person what that person will be thinking that's the reason sometimes we are not able to do that and we are just ignoring that and we are um, just sitting there okay and ignoring in exercising the gift sometimes and also we are confused with natural talents and also the spiritual gifts men so natural talents are there and the spiritual gifts are there okay so many a times many of the people 
they are confused with and they do not understand they they are not able to differentiate what is the talent and eh, given talents and also the spiritual gift and you have to something there is to remember that natural talents are imparted in our natural birth but the spiritual gifts are given when we are born again mean everyone not even believer believers and unbelievers they have different kinds of talents in their life okay sometimes we are just i mean mingling that to, i mean uh, just you know i mean taking that same the talents are same and the spiritual gifts are same sometimes it is not like that when you have a talent that also is a god given talent but at the same time you have i mean some kind of gifts the spiritual gifts are there i mean so when we are manifesting that and, and when we are manifested with that and when we are given with the spiritual i mean gifts hallelujah i mean just i mean differentiating understanding that if you have a talent i mean it is there i mean when you are i mean i mean born physically born into this world at the same time when you are born again you are getting the spiritual gifts upon you and god is calling you with a purpose and saying that i mean this is the reason that i called you there is a purpose behind calling you and making as a child of god amen hallelujah and also we have to understand in romans chapter 1 verse 11 okay quickly i'm going romans chapter 1 verse 11 apostle paul i mean is saying that for i long to visit you that i may impart to you some spiritual gifts to strengthen you suppose paul wanted to visit the church and he is saying that i want to visit you and that i may impart to you some spiritual gifts to strengthen you why can we also pray in the presence of god father god we need to be filled with the spiritual gifts I mean, many a times we are ignoring i mean many a times we are not minding that and we are saying no no i don't have any gift but bible very clearly says that apostle paul very clearly says that you are filled with different kinds of gifts i mean so when we are receiving that gift and when we are identifying what is my gift I mean i will be able to perform it i will be able to exercise that and i will be able to function and operate that gift of god gift of god for the good of common people for all the church and in first timothy chapter 4 verse 14 paul says to timothy don't neglect the spiritual gifts within you god has given some kind of spiritual gifts within you and don't neglect it many times we are neglecting that and we are ignoring that and we are saying because of many reasons that we are hesitating to exercise the spiritual gifts which is given for us not only the 17 but there are many 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 other i mean different i mean gifts are there in bible but we are supposed to identify what is my gift and what is your gift i mean i mean i mean do it for the glory of god exercise that i mean function it i mean operate that for the glory of god and for the common good hallelujah shall we all close our eyes in the presence of god this morning time and uh, let's all pray together that uh, i mean god the god's presence will help us and the spirit of the lord will help us i mean this morning to exercise uh, the spirit of god the gifts uh, the spiritual gifts which is given for every one of us hallelujah thanking lord hallelujah let's all bring out some of the mighty hand of god let us pray for everyone everyone those who are attending in our church hallelujah let us pray that hallelujah if they are identifying and if they are recognizing what is the gift which is given for them hallelujah I means sometimes when they are trying to use the for the glory of god sometimes when they are i mean going to i mean uh, exercise and function that gift of god uh, i mean for the good goodness of the people hallelujah i mean even though they are going through the troubles and uh, i mean sometimes they are facing some challenges hallelujah let us pray that let all those people be strengthened by the spirit of god to perform to exercise to 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 function the god given spiritual gifts in their lives hallelujah let's pray for them pray for every one of us hallelujah pray for every believer hallelujah and uh, i pray that i mean the people those who are going to i mean t- i mean the, uh, to, uh, to the people those who are that we are going to i mean give the i mean membership of the elc let us pray for them also that uh, they are also going to be a useful vessels in the hands of god uh, i mean with the, the the spiritual gift which is given for them in the coming days hallelujah let's pray for them and let's pray for all these people i would request uh, i mean brother jason uh, to lead us in prayer now